Hey church, uh, I'm back for our midweek updates. I had a, had a good experience um, going um, off to New Mexico uh, to find a place to put my parents to rest. Um, and it's been a year of an, an odd journey for me spiritually and emotionally even, and even physically. And I wanna just say thank you to you, Crossgates, for being there for me, for creating um, this space for me, for our SPRC, um, honestly requiring me <laughs> to take some time. And um, I am gonna look in the next few weeks to take some more time to, to take a study leave. Um, we as the staff have been exploring what is authentic worship and um, doing like a four part series on what is worship and how do we worship and why are we fighting over worship and how do we stop doing that and actually live into what we're calling a whole life of worship where when we leave on Sunday mornings, the worship actually begins. And so this is kind of where the journey is. And uh, this Sunday is Pentecost and it's, um, it's a very important day in the life of the church. It is the birthday of the church, if you wanted to argue um, that. But it's important that it's a culmination of so many things, a culmination of what God has been doing throughout history, a culmination of Jesus' ministry and resurrection, a culmination of the promise of baptism. And so we are going to be exploring that this Sunday and enjoying our worship time together. And I want to encourage y'all, see the colors here, a little preview of the colors. I would really love for the church to be filled with people wearing clothing shirts that are red or orange or yellow or white. And so the whole, imagine the whole congregation looking like they've been lit on fire, like the Pentecost of fire. And so, again, uh, Crossgates, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back and worshiping God together with you. And, um, and this journey that we have been on throughout Lent, through Easter, um, through this season of time is a culmination, an amazing culmination of a promise that was made a long time ago and how the consequences then of resurrection and Pentecost still ripple through time and include all of us. Um, one quick update regarding just specifically in the life of the church, um, after all the rain we've had, and I wanted to give y'all an update that, that the trustees are indeed working on and have actually uh, are progressing forward to replacing the roof of the church. And so when you come on Sundays, and especially if you're in the CAC, and you notice ceiling tiles that are stained, or even like in the kitchen of the CAC, some of them have fallen through, we're doing our best to just mitigate that right now because we can't do anything until the roof has been replaced. And once it's been replaced, we will go in and look at all those tiles and, um, and replace them and get, the, get our facility um, back up where it needs to be to truly give glory to God and, um, and not look like we have stained ceiling tiles. So I just want to let y'all know that that is one particular update, but the trustees are actively working on that, and Joe Squire is, Squires is leading them very well. Um, wow, it's been quite a season of time. And um, Crossgates, I look forward to moving into this season of Pentecost together, where we are a, pe a people of Holy Spirit and fire, and so come on Sunday prepared to worship God. Come without any particular agenda other than encountering the risen Jesus Christ and being called together in his name as truly his new body, filled with the Holy Spirit at live and at work in the world. Our psalm for the day is Psalm 104. And um, I, I want to conclude our time together with that psalm because it's a very, it's a very good reminder uh, during this Pentecost season of all of creation being included in this. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there. Living things, both small and great. There go the ships and the Leviathan that you form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. 
When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles? Who touches the mountains and they smoke? I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. My meditation, may my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. All of creation, from grand to small, from old to young, awaits for the Holy Spirit to be poured out. And in the presence of God, we find purpose and we find life and we find renewal. So Crossgates, let's enter this season now as a Holy Spirit-filled people, not out of control, but filled with a beautiful Holy Spirit and fire. I see Christ in you, Crossgates. I see Holy Spirit alive in you, Crossgates.